Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Karen Lair. Idaho is making history this week and it's all thanks to some of the brightest students in the Treasure Valley. A team from Northwest Nazarene University created the Gem State's first ever satellite and our very own Michelle Edmonds has been following their story for over a year now and joins us live from Vandenberg Air Force Base tonight in California. Michelle. Good evening, Karen. Yes, in less than 24 hours, right behind me here at Vandenberg Air Force Base is where Idaho's first satellite will blast off into outer space on board a massive Delta II rocket. But the go for launch for the NNU team hasn't always been a smooth ride. I'm ready. <laughs> After four long years filled with many decisions, hurdles and delays, Braden Grimm is more than ready to watch the satellite he helped build blast into space. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I've never done it before, but I'm excited. The Melba native can claim a piece of Idaho history few can. Braden, three other undergraduates, and two professors from NNU make up the CubeSat team. Every engineer especially needs to have these high five moments in their life. They, they need to do something that is brand new that they get to name because it's never happened before. Meet MakerSat Zero. Its purpose is to test four polymers, or essentially plastics, to see how they hold up in outer space. They're right there. I mean, they're tiny. Yep. The experiment may seem basic, but what they plan to do with the data is truly out of this world. The team wants to find the best polymer to use in 3D printers on the International Space Station. So in the future, satellite diagrams could be emailed to the ISS, allowing astronauts to print out pieces of a CubeSat, snap them together, and then send them out into the cosmos, saving time and money. For that to happen, MakerSat Zero needs to go into orbit the old-fashioned way. Can you even begin to put a number of hours that you've worked on these projects? I have no idea. <laughs> Too many. The engineers experienced obstacles and failures along their journey, but they never gave up. In all honesty, we did need these delays to, to reach this launch, but ended up, ended up working out in the end. And now they're just days from knowing if their hard work works. We've designed this stuff to do a certain thing, and we expect it to do that. That would be considered a success for us. They certainly do expect it to work, and we are going to be with them every step of the way. And if all of that sounds impressive, which it is, get this. NNU decided to challenge Caldwell High School electrical students to come up with an experiment to ride on board the CubeSat. Led by a 16-year-old, that group of students is using an experiment on radiation on the CubeSat. We will be talking with them as well. We're live at Vandenberg Air Force Base. We will be here for you the next couple of nights. Michelle Edmonds, six on your side.